Glutamine synthetase, Wikipedia audio. Glutamine synthetase is an enzyme that plays an essential role in the metabolism of nitrogen by catalyzing the condensation of glutamate and ammonia to form glutamine. Glutamate and ADP and NH3 glutamine and ADP and phosphate. Glutamine synthetase uses ammonia produced by nitrate reduction, amino acid degradation, and photorespiration. The amide group of glutamate is a nitrogen source for the synthesis of glutamine pathway metabolites. Structure other reactions may take place via GS. Competition between ammonium ion and water, their binding affinities, and the concentration of ammonium ion, influences glutamine synthesis and glutamine hydrolysis. Glutamine is formed if an ammonium ion attacks the acyl phosphate intermediate, while glutamate is remade if water attacks the intermediate. Ammonium ion binds more strongly than water to GS due to electrostatic forces between a cation and a negatively charged pocket. Another possible reaction is upon NH2O binding to GS, rather than NH4+, yields gamma-glutamyl hydroxamate. Glutamine synthetase can be composed of 8, 10, or 12 identical subunits separated into two face-to-face -face rings. Bacterial GS are dodecamers with 12 active sites between each monomer. Each active site creates a tunnel which is the site of three distinct substrate binding sites, nucleotide, ammonium ion, and amino acid. ADP binds to the top of the bifunnel that opens to the external surface of GS. Glutamate binds at the bottom of the active site. The middle of the bifunnel contains two sites in which divalent cations bind. One cation binding site is involved in phosphoryl transfer of ADP to glutamate, while the second stabilizes active GS and helps with the binding of glutamate. Class I enzymes are specific to prokaryotes, and are oligomers of 12 identical subunits. The activity of GSI type enzyme is controlled by the adenylation of a tyrosine residue. The adenylated enzyme is inactive. Class II enzymes are found in eukaryotes and in bacteria belonging to the Rhizobiaceae, Frankiaceae, and Streptomycetaceae families. GSII are decamer of identical subunits. PDB, 2OJW. Hydrogen bonding and hydrophobic interactions hold the two rings of GS together. Each subunit possesses a C-terminus and an N-terminus in its sequence. The C-terminus stabilizes the GS structure by inserting into the hydrophobic region of the subunit across in the other ring. The N-terminus is exposed to the solvent. In addition, the central channel is formed via six four-stranded beta sheets composed of anti-parallel loops from the 12 subunits. GS catalyzes the ADP-dependent condensation of glutamate with ammonia to yield glutamine. The hydrolysis of ADP drives the first step of a two-part, concerted mechanism. ADP phosphorylates glutamate to form ADP in an acyl phosphate intermediate gamma-glutamyl phosphate, which reacts with ammonia, forming glutamine, and inorganic phosphate. ADP and PI do not dissociate until ammonia binds and glutamine is released. ADP binds first to the top of the active site near a cation binding site, while glutamate binds near the second cation binding site at the bottom of the active site. The presence of ADP causes a conformational shift in GS that stabilizes the gamma-glutamyl phosphate moiety. Ammonium binds strongly to GS only if the acyl phosphate intermediate is present. Ammonium, rather than ammonia, binds to GS because the binding site is polar and exposed to solvent. In the second step, 
deprotonation of ammonium allows ammonia to attack the intermediate from its nearby site to form glutamine. Phosphate leaves through the top of the active site, while glutamine leaves through the bottom. Good cell, DS. Glutamine synthetase. RCSB Protein Data Bank Retrieved May 8, 2010 GS is present predominantly in the brain, kidneys, and liver. GS in the brain participates in the metabolic regulation of glutamate, the detoxification of brain ammonia, the assimilation of ammonia, recyclization of neurotransmitters, and termination of neurotransmitter signals. GS, in the brain, is found primarily in astrocytes. Astrocytes protect neurons against excitotoxicity by taking up excess ammonia and glutamate. In hyperammonemic environments, astroglial swelling occurs. Different perspectives have approached the problem of astroglial swelling. One study shows that morphological changes occur that increase GS expression in glutamatergic areas or other adaptations that alleviates high levels of glutamate and ammonia. Another perspective is that astrocyte swelling is due to glutamine accumulation. To prevent increased levels of cortical glutamate and cortical water content, a study has been conducted to prevent GS activity in rats by the use of MSO. There seem to be three different classes of GS. Class 3 enzymes have, currently, only been found in Bacteroides fragilis and in Buterivibrio fibrous solvens. It is a double ringed dodecamer of identical chains. It is much larger than the GSI or GSII enzymes. Plants have two or more isozymes of GSII. One of the isozymes is translocated into the chloroplast. Another form is cytosolic. The cytosolic GS gene translation is regulated by its 5 untranslated region, while its 3 UTR plays role in transcript turnover. While the three classes of GSs are clearly structurally related, the sequence similarities are not so extensive. Methionine sulfoxamine, MSO is an inhibitor that binds to the glutamate site. Bound to GS, MSO is phosphorylated by ADP that results in an irreversible, noncovalent inhibition of GS. The S isomer configuration is more inhibitory. Glutamate entry is blocked into the active site by a stabilization of the flexible loop in the active site by MSO. Phosphonothricin. Phosphonothricin is an inhibitor that binds to the glutamate site. Glufosinate is used as an herbicide. Glufosinate treated plants die due to a buildup of ammonia and a cessation of photosynthesis. Many synthetic inhibitors are available today. Mechanism Regulation of GS only occurs in prokaryotes. GS is subject to reversible covalent modification. Tier 397 of all 12 subunits can undergo adenylylation or detenylylation by adenyl transferase, a bifunctional regulatory enzyme. Adenylylation is a post-translational modification involving the covalent attachment of AMP to a protein side chain. Each adenylylation requires an ADP and complete inhibition of GS requires 12 ADP. Detenylylation by it involves phosphorolytic removal of the tear-linked adenyl groups as ADP. At activity is influenced by the regulatory protein that is associated with it, P2, a 44KD trimer. P2 also undergoes post-translational modification by uridlil transferase, thus P2 has two forms. The state of P2 dictates the activity of adenyl transferase. If P2 is not uridlilated, then it will take on the PIIA form. 
the ITPIIA complex will deactivate GS by adenylylation. If P2 is uridylated, then it will take on the PIID form. The ITPIID complex will activate GS by detenylylation. The ITPIIA and ITPIID complexes are allosterically regulated in a reciprocal fashion by alpha ketoglutarate and glutamine. GLN will activate at PIIA activity and inhibits at PIID, leading to adenylylation and subsequent deactivation of GS. Furthermore, GLN favors the conversion of PIID to PIIA. The effects of alpha KG on the complexes are opposite. In the majority of gram negative bacteria, GS can be modified by adenylylation. Inhibition of GS has largely focused on aminocyte ligands. Other inhibitors are the result of glutamine metabolism, tryptophan, histidine, carbamoyl phosphate, glucosamine 6-phosphate, citidine triphosphate, and adenosine monophosphate. Other inhibitors slash regulators are glycine and alanine. Alanine, glycine, and serine bind to the glutamate substrate site. GDP, AMP, ADP bind to the ADP site. L-serine, L-alanine, and glycine bind to the site for L-glutamate in unadenylated GS. The four amino acids bind to the site by their common atoms, the main chain of amino acids. Glutamate is another product of glutamine metabolism, however, glutamate is a substrate for GS inhibiting it to act as a regulator to GS.2 Each inhibitor can reduce the activity of the enzyme, once all final glutamine metabolites are bound to GS, the activity of GS is almost completely inhibited. Many inhibitory input signals allows for fine-tuning of GS by reflecting nitrogen levels in the organism. Feedback regulation distinguishes the difference between two eukaryotic types of GS, brain and non-brain tissues. Non-brain GS responds to end-product feedback inhibition, while brain GS does not. High concentrations of glutamine-dependent metabolites should inhibit GS activity, while low concentrations should activate GS activity. Inhibitors Research on E. coli revealed that GS is regulated through gene expression. The gene that encodes the GS subunit is designated GLNA. Transcription of GLNA is dependent on NRI active transcription occurs if NRI is in its phosphorylated form, designated NRIP. Phosphorylation of NRI is catalyzed by NR2, a protein kinase. If NR2 is complexed with PIIA then it will function as a phosphatase and NRIP is converted back to NRI. In this case, Transcription of GLNA ceases. Biological function Classes Regulation and inhibition